Hey everyone, we're going to do another weedless compact jig today and this will be the last one I'm going to do for a little while. I know it's getting kind of redundant, um, but I wanted you to see this because this is going to be a little different than the other ones we, we've done. Only because we're using a different weed guard. We're using um, an FG-12 as opposed to the standard um, FG-30. So in the vise, we have a one-quarter ounce weedless compact jig. It's got a 2 aught Victory 10-360 hook. The color is Roadkill. And uh, what I call this pattern is Blue Craw version 5, or the short version is BC5. So uh, let's get started here with some 210 denier flat wax nylon in black. I like 210. You know, um, I've used like GSP and um, other threads, but this works for me. This, you know, um, it holds bucktail and it really holds all my materials very well. So I, I don't have any issues with it, with um, other threads. Use what works for you. If it isn't broke, don't fix it, as I like to say. But I do like 210 denier uh, flat wax. You know, I also like 140. I should say I like flat wax nylon, period. Because I do use like 70, 140, and 210. Um, 140 would probably be the most universal. And we're going to do this in the finesse style. And the first color is watermelon, um, blue shimmer, nature's edge. It's almost identical to uh, the Magic Craw Dalmatian from Fishing Skirts. They're pretty much interchangeable. I have them both, and if I tied them side by side, you, you wouldn't be able to tell. I think the only difference I found is, and it's, you really have to look to see this, but on the Dalmatian series, the, the little black spots are all round, where uh, with the Nature's Edge, there's some that, you know, they're not perfectly round. They're sort of jagged. Um, and that's, you know, that's the only... And I mean, it's not... You have to look. You'd have to really look at it to see it. So, because we're tying this finesse style, we can fold them over. You know, we're folding... Uh, this is a quarter tab that we're folding over. So, it ends up being a half tab. Two colors, that's it. The next one that we're doing, this is a quarter, fold it over, gives you a half. This is fish scale watermelon. And since it's only five strands, really, that you're using, um, you just have to make sure you don't have any bald spots. That's all. Just make sure you're distributed all the way around pretty well. 
because uh, once it's finally tied, it, it it will look good, even if you got one, you know, a little more material on one side than the other, and not, and not more, but like maybe you uh, didn't separate it too well, and you got more of um, the watermelon blue shimmer versus the fish scale on one side versus the other. Um, no big deal. You just want to try to keep um, the amount of material uh, close, so it does. You know your jig isn't all lopsided. But you can, you know, after you do this for a little bit, you can eyeball it. You know, you, you and believe me, I, I'm. If I can eyeball this. Anybody can. It's just, you know, but again, it's because of all the years, a long time doing this. But again, it's fun, you know, even though I, I don't, um, I don't get a lot of views or anything on YouTube and it doesn't bother me. Because again, I, I like, I do like doing this. Um, and I like sharing it with everybody, you know, I've made some great friends, so it's all good. Now, if you noticed, I didn't use any flash because I don't want it. I want this to, um, be natural, but I am going to do something to get it, you know, to make it. A little more visual in the water so we're gonna whip finish this then we'll get our weed garden all in I have to hold that because it wants to keep falling over. Four and six, that'll work. Doesn't matter. I could like you only need one, but I overkill it for. Now I'm gonna take some water-based head cement. There we go. It's pretty good. Now take my, well, first I'm going to take my small scissors and we're going to trim this up. A little shorter than I wanted, but that's okay. I do want this shorter, but not, um, I got to even it up. And rather than just cut the loops free, take my big scissors. And now we're going to add our FG12 weed guard, which is the reason I, I wanted the, that spider cut skirt a little bit shorter. Super glue gel. And our FG12 weed guard.
Now this is what we have so far. And now we're going to add our trailer. And for a trailer, I'm going to use... All I did was cut three ribs off of this. This is Ultra Craw Craw Poppy. That's the color of it. And I like it with this because that matches our Blue Craw. But we got the Chartreuse there which is why um, I didn't opt to use any flash. But there's a lot of like, there's a lot of flashes you could use that would be really good with this. Now, your keeper on these weedless compact jigs is pretty big, but you just stretch your plastic over it and then pull it down. I had a little fly in here or something. And now, that's what we have. The old you try to show it to you front ways. Yeah, then I'm blocking all the light. But there it is. That's our BC5. <laughs> our finesse style quarter ounce with our small weed guard. I think with I think it looks good with that craw poppy on there. Uh from Yum. There you have it. Give it a shot. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching.